Welcome to Desire to Learn Learning Management System at Portland Community College. Logging in, you would go to the URL https colon double slash online.pcc.edu. That will bring you to this login page where you would type in your username. Your password is the last four digits of your PCC G number. You'll notice when we first enter that the interface is really pretty simple. We're going to be going over just what these components are used for. Let's start in the upper left hand corner and you'll notice that we're at my home. That is where you would return to from when you're in a class to return to this area to use the options that we're going to go over. The schedule is the calendar. The FAQ will be constantly in development so check back frequently. The Blackboard link will take you to the login page for Blackboard and also my PCC will take you there. On this My Home page you're going to see My Settings. We have a news area here and here is where you would be notified from distance learning of things that might be happening as you log in. Down below here under My Courses will be a list of the classes that have either been migrated, you're developing, or are teaching. And this is how you would access those classes. But let's draw attention over here to My Settings right now. You can see the silhouette here and you could certainly leave that but I'll show you how under my profile you can add your picture there or a picture of any choice that you would like to have. You can explore these other options here they're pretty straightforward but the one that I'm going to go over here is profile and in here you can fill out as much information as you would like to reveal. I would maybe keep it at a minimum so let's go in and change the picture and I'm going to browse. It allows you to browse your computer and I've navigated to the folder where I have a picture. I'm going to select the one that I'd like, click open and then upload. If you happen to get the wrong picture you could simply delete it or if you want to change it later. So I will now click Save and you can see up here it tells me it's been saved successfully and now to return to my home page I can click on my home and there's the picture inserted. The other option under My Settings I'd like to draw attention to is Preferences. The four tabs I'd like to draw attention to are General Preferences, the Discussions, Email, and the Pager. And on the General tab you can decide whether you want to appear to be logged in or logged out. That would be a personal choice. Under Discussions there are going to be a lot of options that would be possibly personal to you and how you want to conduct your class. One option I think you owe it to yourself to take a look at and try the different views would be the grid style or the reading style and see which one works best for you. At this point I'd like to point out these little gray circles with the question marks. They're riddled throughout the whole program and um, you would just click on those and it gives you a rather detailed brief explanation of why you would want that and explains what it will do if you choose that. So rely on that. It's like having help at your fingertips. On the email tab you would again you could include your signature here if that's what you would like on there and make the decisions on the options that are available here. Down here you have a forwarding option. Um, personally I think it would be ideal to keep the email for each class contained in but if you for some reason wanted to email it to any other address you would choose that option here and then save. There is a pager system within uh, Desire to Learn that when you're online people can page you and give you an auditory beep and have the icon show up in the nav bar. Um, this is the icon up here. It'll tell you if you have a page. So work within that, try it, and, and see how, what your preferences would be. And again, always save. And notice here again, it tells me that it saves successfully. Um, down below here, updates and events as things might be happening. Keep an eye down here. You'll see some activity.